In this short video I'm just going to install Eclipse uh, for Windows and I'm going to install it so that we can build both Java applications and C++ applications within Eclipse within the one setup. Now for this you need a couple of external tools. The first one is Java, the second one is MinGW and the third one uh, is Eclipse itself and we have to install a plugin within Eclipse called CDT. So to install Oracle, well Java first we have to go to the Oracle website java.oracle.com brings us to this setup here. We just download Java SE 7 Update 40. So you can see here are all the SDKs. So it's Java SE Standard Edition and we want a standard JDK. So standard JDK um, and we want to download it. Okay, so we have to agree to the a license accept the license and then you pick your your version here my version is JDK 7 you yeah, update 40 for Windows and it's x64 so you can pick if you're using Linux Solaris Mac and um, so I obviously want this version here so it's the Oracle Java SE development kit 7 version 7 update 40 is the latest version there's also demos and sample downloads that you can install um, and and again just choose the correct platform so just download and install this uh, so click to download I have it downloaded already just to make it quicker for this video and I can execute it directly so allow it to install Go through the installation wizard uh, just tick the stand it doesn't matter standards installation is fine I'm just going to speed up this video so that obviously you, you can go through the steps but uh, you don't want to watch me install the whole thing so it's Java SE development kit 7 update 40 okay that step was successful we can close that and we need next we need to go on to min gw so min gw is the minimalist GNU for windows so this is the until includes the compiler that we need so we're going to download this so I'm going to install and ins use the installer to install it and mingwsetup.exe so you just have to wait for SourceForge to start and he's a fan of me and then open up okay so I'm just going to close this window to turn off the fan a little bit so we're going to run the installation so it's min gw get version 0 0.62 beta so install uh, continue i think everything's fine there now this is a, an online installer so it means it has to download the files as you're using them so it'll take a little bit of time to do this before it downloads the catalog okay seems to process 109 of 109 so it's done so just continue and then we need to install basic setup we need the MinGW developer toolkit see if I have all these right now MinGW GCC G++ mark for installation we also could do with the documentation um, I don't know if we'll need this objective C no uh, objective C no and do we need anything else Fortran or Ada no a basic min GW installation we'll just go for that mark for installation I think that should do now just let's just check that again a basic GCC okay well I, I, I may have done too much here but we'll see what happens um, so we need to go to installation uh, apply changes apply okay once all changes have been applied we can close the dialog okay and I'll minimize this just in case I need to go back to it so we should see that within our C colon that, that should have installed. Let me just see if I can get it in our C computer. C colon slash 
min gw. So that's the directory that everything is in there. So bin is there and all this C++ tools should be there. G++ is there. Okay, so that's that's installed. Um, the next thing, so we have Java installed and we have Eclipse, we have um, MinGW installed. So the next thing we need to do is download Eclipse. So we can go to download Eclipse and the version we want is the standard, Eclipse standard. Um, so Eclipse standard 4.3.1 and we can download for Windows 64. Um, so that starts the download, Eclipse standard Kepler, um, at that address. So that downloads and you'll see it comes in as this directory here as a sorry as a, as a zip file. Uh, someday I'll register it. Okay, just make sure this is kill this now. So leave that minimized for the minute. Uh, so we have our zip file. Eclipse. So I'm going to extract this. I'm just going to place this on the C drive. C colon slash Eclipse. Okay, so you call it slash Eclipse. Okay, so that installed. So it's just an extraction, you don't have to run an install or anything. The only thing I like to do is I'm just going to place a shortcut. So C colon slash Eclipse, Eclipse. I'm just going to create a shortcut on the desktop. Oops, missed. Control copy, right click, paste shortcut. Okay, so that should work. So let's just try that now. Okay, so workspace directory, C console users, Derek Malloy workspace. I'm just going to create a new, uh, call it EE. Uh, This is running my laptop, so apologies if there's noise from the fan. Uh, just to make sure this is the version I'm using in lectures. So here's my Eclipse um, folder, or well, my, my initial view. So now we can just go, let's just try and see that Java is working correctly. So I'm gonna create a new, a new project. We'll go for a Java project. Next. And we're just gonna call this Hello World. And we'll use the Java SE 1.7, and that's fine. Use default location, finish. Okay, and um, we want to add a new, right click, new class, Call hello world. It's in the default package, which is discouraged, that's fine. And we'll just say we'd like to have a main function there as well. Finish. Okay, so here's my automatically generated main. So we'll just do uh, system, oops, dot S-Y-S-T-E-M dot out dot println. It's looking good because I'm, get, I'm getting the autocomplete. Let's try it again. I wonder why it didn't work the last time. And we just do hello world. Okay, close the bracket and close that. So we can check to see, this is compiling as it's working, so you can see uh, uh, it, it, there's no errors present here. So we should be just able to execute this and look at the output. Okay, execute it. Hello world, and there's our output. So our output on our console is hello world. So that's working perfectly. So there's, there's not too much there in getting Java working. So Java Java's finished. So the next thing we want to do is go on and install CDT. So to do this, we'll go back to our... Um, okay, so we just Google Eclipse CDT. And the first thing that comes back is eclipse.org slash CDT. Okay. So this is a fully functional C and C++ integrated environment based on Eclipse platform. So the advantage is we now have uh, a mechanism for uh, building our Java applications using Eclipse. And we're now going to use Eclipse CDT for our C++ program. So even though we're installing Java before 
we need it because we're going to start with C++ um, it's useful to have it present so what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the software repository so go here and, and this is what you need here so you need this link so download.eclipse tools cap releases Kepler and we're going to do this from within uh, with inside um, uh, with inside um, Eclipse so we just copy that link don't don't follow the link just copy it and just go in here and go help install new software within Eclipse and we want to add a repository so the uh, address of this is location just make sure you get rid of any stray I have an extra colon in there and we'll call this Eclipse okay. that's okay so it gives us a, a new um, remote site that we can use to install software from so we want to install uh, all of the main features are there any optional features we want we don't need them at the moment maybe cross compiler support uh, Qt support I don't think we need any of those for the moment so main features so we're going to install these So I accept the terms, finish. Okay, when this pops up, we need to restart. So we restart Eclipse. Close this. Okay, so I now have a welcome screen that includes C++ development, which is good news. Let's just check that our current project works. Just try and execute that to see that the existing hello world, yeah, hello world is still working, everything is fine. So we're going to create a new uh, project now, new project, and we're going to go for C++ project. Okay, next. Um, tool chain. Now, it picked up the tool chain automatically because I went for the default install directory for min gw, so um, that's useful. Let's see if we can do hello world C++ project. Let's just check. Um, okay. Oh, it's called <laughs> the previous project was called Hello World. Let's call it Hello World CPP. Finish. Uh, it's asking me do I want to switch the perspective C++ perspective? Yes, I do because we're now developing C++ for this. Um, so here we are. Here's our project. And we can see a little bit worryingly we've got errors ah they've gone away good so you can see here um hash include io stream using namespace standard into main see out hello world uh, prints hello world a little bit necessary comment return zero so let's just try and build and execute this so run hello world oh binary not found let's build it first uh, i would have thought it would have happened already build all Okay, that looks good. And execute. Hello world. Okay, so in the console we now have hello world down here. It's terminated, it's finished, that's perfect, it's run to completion. So you can see we now have our C compiler capable of building C programs, and at the same time we can just switch to, which is very good, we can just switch now to our uh, hello world project uh, in Java, and we can actually just execute this as well. And get a low world so it means now you're working in one environment in eclipse you're using c plus plus through min gw and you're using java through the jdk and everything seems to work fine